What's going on YouTube? It's Darkjack. I'm bringing you another gameplay. This time on WMD with my AK-47 and Green Dot Sight with my sexy tiger camo that gives you stopping power. With my Daxter Emblem from Jack and Daxter. And my objective for this game was to get as many kills as possible. I get 50 kills this game with my AK-47. Trying to run around and play aggressively. And so at first I head toward their spawn I pick that guy up. Then I want to camp in this building which is the main building that you want to control. So I put my motion sensor down there, so I can see the people with Ghost. Unless they're using Hacker Pro, but very few people use Hacker Pro. Try to kill him, he gets away from me. Right now what our team is trying to do is keep them trapped in their spawn. And then just get, rack up the kills until one of us gets, gets a Blackbird, and then everyone else is going to get a Blackbird. Because we're all using Blackbird, and that makes the game a lot easier. You don't have to worry about Ghost when you play Domination and Demo, and you keep them trapped in their spawn. The game types I play the most are Headquarters, Domination, and Demo. Because in those game types, Ghost is not much of a factor. The enemy team is forced to move around in order to capture flags or, or the Headquarters or to plant the bomb. Whereas in Team Deathmatch, people just camp a bunch and it's really, really slow paced. And in Capture the Flag as well and Search and Destroy, people just camp their butts off. So I like to play game types where people move around more. Objective-based objective game types where there is not a st spawn delay after people die. Because I don't like game types with spawn delays, because after you die you have to wait, and it's really boring. And I also don't like playing Search and Destroy, because after I die I have to watch my other teammates play. And it's really painful to watch them play. And then that guy kills me because he was aiming down sight, waiting for me to go look at through the window. So now I'm going to head back to my main building. Pick off that guy as he was coming up the stairs. Then I pick up his 74U. And that guy, he wasn't playing. I didn't see him at first. But he was AFK, so it's an easy kill. He would have killed me if he was playing, just camping in a corner with Ghost. Like most Ghost users. Then I get a lucky kill there by drop shotting him. So I go prone as I'm shooting. And when I shoot in Black Ops, I aim down the sight when, when I'm shooting. So I can kill people faster. Kill that guy who's AFK, and get him. That was a lucky kill. And I see them spawning over here because my teammate got a Blackbird. And the Blackbird makes the game easy. Kill the guy again who's not playing. Kill him. And I kill that guy. I knew he wasn't playing, so I didn't bother shooting him until after I killed the guys who were playing. When you see two different people, shoot at the one who can kill you first, then the one other one who does not see you. Because if you shoot at the person who isn't playing or who doesn't see you first, then the one who is playing will kill you. Then I kill him with my rapid fire grip 74U. Unfortunately he killed me. What I should have done there was just go prone and killed him as he came around the corner instead of going around the corner. In Black Ops you don't want to sprint around, around corners unless you know you can get the kill. So now I've got my chopper out. Unfortunately I don't have a cool chopper gunner song. So I'll just let the chopper gunner do work and I'll talk. Now the other team has quit out, except for a few people, so the game is slowed down and hopefully more people will join in, but you know Black Ops, people don't join in very quickly. It takes a while for people to join, unlike previous COD games. I guess that's not the case in COD 4 and Modern in World at War, because so few people play them that not very many people join in. But in MW2 people join in very pretty quickly. Now hopefully they don't all quit out because when you run high kill streaks, people like to quit out. That's why many people don't run Blackbird Chopper Gunner Dogs because people will just quit out. That's why people who are YouTube commentators complain about people not joining in fast because they make them quit out because they all run high kill streaks. Now with my Blackbird, I can see where the few remaining people are, and hopefully that AFK guy is still in the game because. He, he can't quit out because he's away from his controller. So as long as he's still in the game, people are going to join in. I trace, chase this guy. Kill him as, he, <coughs> as he's going into second chance. Then I see these people spawning over here, so I'm going to head over. Pick up him. Ghost isn't going to help him because we have the Blackbird on. So as I was saying earlier, what I like to play is Domination and Demo. Because when you have a Blackbird up and you have them trapped in their spawn, Ghost is not a problem. 
I'm gonna kill that guy again who's AFK. I don't know what he was doing. He must have been eating a pretty good sandwich. And then now the spawns are flipped because we've got our chopper gunner up and the chopper gunner flips the spawns. After the chopper gunner kills them at one flag they spawn at the other. So now that they've died at the other spawn they're spawning back at their original spawn. In the building next to A. So we have a pr them in a pretty vicious spawn trap. There really isn't much they can do. And we all want to pad our stats so now I'm running aggressively toward their spawn. Kill him as he falls into second chance. And there are more spawning back here. I get my second blackbird of the game. And I pick up his AK-47, which is good because I'm trying to get an AK-47 contract. And that's pretty generous of him to give me another 47. When I play Black Ops, I usually, usually run black, Flak Jacket and Ghost. I never use Scavenger because it's a waste of a per perk. Because I can just pick up someone else's gun or switch to dual pythons. And then Lightweight is a nice perk as well, but... I find that when I use lightweight I always get killed by explosives, so I regret using it even though it's a nice perk to have. And then hardline is just a crutch for bad players that get, get killed before their kill streak. It's a pretty pointless kill streak because hardline only helps you get your first kill streak, not your other ones. Because after you get your spy plane, it's still the same number of kills from your spy plane to your blackbird, even with hardline. Hardline only helps you get your first kill streak. Because after you get your uh, UAV, it's still five kills from UAV to Blackbird, regardless of what first tier perk you're using. Now I'm going to call in my second chopper. And thankfully, more people have joined the game. But unfortunately, they're camping in their building next day. I don't blame them. If I were in their shoes, I probably would have quit out too. But when I play Black Ops, I usually play with a party of people, which makes the game much more fun when you're playing with a party. And I could have gotten a lot more kills this game if more people joined in earlier and the people on the other team weren't camping in buildings and camping in corners using Ghost. That's how Black Ops is. Black Ops is just a slow game, and it's really difficult to get lots and lots of kills like the Mark of J and Fear Crads into Game 360 in Ronaldinho. I really respect those guys because they, they can rack up tons of kills while rushing. I guess the key is just to play ground war domination and only play with one or two of the people who are good. Because when I play Black Ops it's really hard to get lots of kills. Because we're all fighting for kills. I thought that guy right there was someone on the other team. So I shot at him and I thought he was someone who was waiting for me to get out of my chopper and knife me. Then I kill him. When the Blackbird's in the air, it's, it's really unfair for the other team. Using the Blackbird is like hacking, because you know where everyone is. So, the best thing to do when people are spawning everywhere is just to stay in one spot of the map. So I'm just going to choose to stay in this area and kill them as they respawn. And that's the end of the game. I get 50 kills. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. I could have gotten a lot more, but fortunately time ran out and people didn't join in fast enough. See you guys later.